We're in the middle of the wedding season, but I know that next summer's nuptials are already being planned. If you're looking for a style that favors the creative over the conventional, why not let Michelle introduce you to Du Bois? Starting out as aspiring artists, Marklin Govender and Clint Singh caught the eye of the doyen of the Durban art world, Andrew Forstell. Recognizing their innate creativity and potential, he encouraged them to look for inspiration in their eastern roots. And they gradually made a transition from canvas-based paintings to adorning the human form in fabric and makeup. Weddings made a perfect match with their talents, and their services range from fashion and makeup to ceremony planning and catering. Marriage inevitably requires compromises to be made. If he wants tradition and she wants contemporary, a solution will have to be found. Mark and Clint are the go-to experts and they will be sharing their knowledge. Hello, 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 how are hello. you? Hello, how are you? Michelle, pleased to meet you. And Clint, lovely to meet lovely you. Lovely to meet you and you gorgeous ladies looking so stunning. Clint, how did you get involved in this business? We actually started 15 years ago. The main idea was just creating beauty. The influx of Bollywood at that point in South Africa had just really become really huge. And at that point, we also had a florist. So we decided to bring everything under one roof and just combined the whole flower aspect with the jewelry aspect with it. And then that's where we, we started. You've become affectionately known as Du Bois. How did that come about? Du Bois started uh, with us, uh, I think, in 1999 when we just started up with the email Addy. <laughs> and that's when Du Bois became the thing because everybody said, Who are you getting to dress you? And they said, The boys, the boys are coming to dress me, the boys are coming in. Now you are made up of a dynamic duo. How do you divide the roles between the two of yourselves? I specialize completely in terms of the finishing of the bride. I do the hair, hair styling, and I add the flowers onto the bride. And Mark does more of the makeup. It's just clean cut, you know? I do my bit and he does his bit and then we just bring the entire thing together. Clint, explain to me, what is the difference between a North Indian bride and a South Indian bride? The North Indian brides cover their hair with what you call a dupatta, or a veil. And the South Indian brides actually wear the flowers in the hair. The travels overseas, that's definitely helped you. Tell us a bit more about that. I travel to India twice a year. Usually the latter part of the year is when I go to the bridal shows and the exhibitions. I watch what's new on the ramp um, and then I bring in the new accessories for the year ahead. Getting a first-hand view of the latest styles and interpretations is absolutely essential for the boys to stay on trend. Although the local market is not as focused on high fashion for the current season, this may be due to the lead time involved in arranging an Indian wedding. How far behind do you think South Africa is in terms of international trends? We are really a season or two behind. Uh, I think South Africa is still leaning towards traditional aspects that is supposedly culturally correct whereas India dresses for the traditional completely and then they move with trend very highly. Clint, you've got the beautiful bride over here. Will you please show me how a South Indian bride sets herself apart? Yes, the flowers that I'm adding on are just tiny little buddy roses. With Mirasha style, it was based more on contemporary with hair jewelry and some flowers. So I'm adding in little roses, which is placed on a pin and strategically placed around the hair to create a composition that balances out with the jewelry and the face. Clint, I'm going to leave you to it. Let's chat to Mark. Mark, what role do you play? I'm totally responsible for the makeup and setting the trends for the makeup for the bridal couture for the year ahead. You travel internationally extensively. How do you incorporate the looks that you find overseas to a South African audience? I love what I learn. Um, it's fresh, it's always exciting. You deal with a, very, uh, a variation of makeup artists throughout the world when we get together at seminars. I love the fact that I somehow trust myself to leave off what I don't like. You are so passionate about what you do. Where did that all begin for you? As a kid, I've always answered so easily that I would be an artist, never realizing a makeup artist. Later on in life, I did my BCom degree and I thought this was not working for me because my parents were sort of against me being an artist um, as opposed to an accountant or CA. And eventually somehow I've worked my way back into the art field with canvases and now with women. Another extension of your creativity is your jewelry design. Tell me a bit more about that. It's inspired by India, pictures of India, Bollywood sets. This piece is specifically trendy because it's not balanced actually. It is derived from the North Indian Har and the South Indian Mala. It's supposed to be a piece that flows from a bulkier side to a more flowing, softer side. It, it balances off very clearly with the makeup. It's well-stated eye makeup. 
if it was a more classic bridal piece, these pieces on the side would have been more balanced on the other side of the head as well. We've got the conventional draping, which is the Sida Atra in North Indian terms, which is folded and draped on the left of the shoulder, or the right, it just depends. We're just going to be using the veil over the head very softly and obviously you see the moment that's done the hair takes a secondary place and the makeup with regard to the eye detail takes a forefront India continues to fuel Mark's creative spirit and this is reflected in the subjects style and techniques of his art which has been exhibited at home and abroad Mark, another outlet that you are passionate about is your artwork. Tell me a more about this particular this piece is actually entitled Benares. It's derived from the original authentic design of gold thread woven through pure silk fabric threads in India itself. Most of my canvases are sort of textured where you can actually feel the lines and the designs or the patterns on the canvas itself. Mark, you've had the chance to exhibit your work in India. How was it received? It was more than just a welcome. It was a collaboration of a few artists. It was the Mahatma Gandhi Satyagraha exhibition. It was different for me, the type of work that I had to create during that ambit, but it was an eye-opener and a fragment of new creativity. Alongside costume and makeup, body art forms an important part of Indian bridal adornment. With intricate motifs supplied using henna, this is known as Mendi. Clint, you meet a lot of modern brides. How do you marry the traditional elements with the contemporary that they seek? There's 16 elements that should be adorned on a Hindu bride. So certain aspects of that is selected and brought together and put together um, with the fusion of contemporary and traditional elements. You already do so much at Du Bois, but look into the future. What do you see for yourself and the brand? Ideally, I would like to bring all bridal aspects under one roof. That would be a bridal emporium, for that matter. And then hopefully bring the garment and the clothing and the designing under one wing as well. Clients appreciate the relaxed, reassuring confidence that Du Bois bring to planning and executing their weddings. They made you feel very comfortable and calm while dressing you up and yeah, it was a fun experience and I loved every minute of it. They made me feel so special, they made me look so beautiful. I, haven't Im I didn't imagine looking as gorgeous as I do. The way they draped the sari, my hair, the makeup, my flowers, it's absolutely beautiful. Finding the balance between tradition and contemporary is all in a day's work for Mark and Clint. I can fully understand why they are in such demand. They take childhood dreams and turn it into reality.